guys, and welcome back to Lucero's Makerspace. For those who don't know me, I'm Miss Jessica, and today I wanted to do another fun activity that the supplies that you might have around the house. Um, so I'm going to actually show you what we're making. Oops. I actually made two different models, um, and it's kind of just fun to play with it. So if you haven't figured it out, it is a rubber band racer or car, however you want to call about it or call it. So I'm going to just hook it up to my front axle and take it back to the back here on my little flag. I'm just going to wound it up just a couple times. Hopefully you can see this on the screen. Let me go one, two, three. And usually it goes a little faster. I'm still trying to figure out how much weight to put on it. Um, but we'll talk about that in a minute. And another little cute smaller one that I made. I'll show you this really fast. I just attached to the front one and now I'm going to the back and just rounding them up. Or rounding it is what I should say. I'll do this right here. One, two, three. And we can talk about what I would do next um, to improve these. But first let's talk about what supplies you need. I'm going to put these over here, you guys. And so for the body, for mine, I have just a regular popsicle sticks. But I was looking in my, like, uh, recyclable items, and I thought this would be really cool. It's just a piece of plastic. It even has, like, the little areas for your tires. I have no idea what this is normally used for. A box would be kind of cool to have as a body cardboard. Um, these are little pieces that I had for weights. And of course, popsicle sticks. Um, a water bottle would be also kind of cool to do, or a milk carton. And that's just for the body. Now for the wheels, um, you can just do a water bottle, um, or Gatorade, or whatever kind of soda um, lids, or maybe the foam. Not sure how that would work, but it'd be interesting to see. Or even just cardboard. Um, the, th the thicker, the better, probably, because of the weight that you're putting on there. Now, I have not tried this, but buttons might be an interesting thing. Um, probably not this one because it's not completely round, but you want something that's uniform and identified, or I mean, identical. Um, so, those would be some cool ideas to do. CDs or DVDs. I'm looking at my list really fast to see if I missed anything. And for the axles. Now I tried thinking that I could get away with, if you can see, this is a paper clip. And I did try really hard to straighten it up and everything, but I don't think it was it strong enough. So, because I was thinking, okay, what can I use? The key is, is to have a, one of these big straws, um, and it could possibly be a party one. Um, the thing is, you want the wider the better. And then somehow, some material for the axle for it to move the tires. So you can use a barbecue stick or a toothpick. The thing is, you want it round um, so that it can do the whole movement and the energy that it's going through. And then, yeah. And then sometimes you might like my the big one, wherever that went, here. I put some weights on it. Um, I've seen pictures that people put the screws up like this and then put um, bolts, but I don't think that's kind of safe. So that's why I kind of put it on the side so then it's safe. And then you need some kind of piece of like a tail um, for this piece and this piece for your rubber band to attach. So I attach it here. This is the front and this is the back. And this is where you wound it up. And this is where all that potential energy is. And then whenever you let go, that is your kinetic energy with the movement of the wheels. So that's how it works. Now I want to show you a very basic 
basic idea of how to build this now. And like I said, you can build however you want to. Oh, and a hot glue gun would be helpful. Um, but please be smart and safe on um, making this if you're using your hot glue gun. And you just need a low temp, that's totally fine. And of course, the rubber bands, because we all know rubber bands shoot. Yeah, they are the only ones that can hurt. And in my research, I saw that you can grab a drill and drill a hole if you want to be precisely. Um, but sometimes it's kind of nice to just keep your hands dirty. So what I've come up with, just a regular tack is the easiest way to do is a hole and, or a nail. And just be careful, of course, you want to use some kind of protector or surface just poke a hole for your wheels i'm gonna do two of these and there's like a little dot right there in the middle i'm just gonna wiggle around to make it a little bigger and then of course what use whatever you have around the house i had a paper clip so i'm gonna kind of wiggle that a little bit more to make that a little larger or even use your barbie glue stick the key is though you don't want it too big but you want it big enough that's tight but not too tight so there's that it's kind of nice to have a starter and i'm going to do a green one because i haven't done a green one yet and we'll see how hard these ones are so i got my pin started and this might be like an adult supervision part. I'm going to do this. Oops. See if I can. Or even a pair of scissors might be the best. But I would say adult doing this. Okay, that's like really hard. I don't want to hurt myself. So we're going to go on to the Just for easiness because these are already, oh, that one's already blown out. Oops. All right. We'll just do another one like these. Because that one takes time and I don't want to lose you guys there. All right. So I got my wheels. I'm going to make them just a little bigger. Sorry that they're clear, you guys. I hope you guys can see that. All right, now we're going to build my the body. And then we're going to actually use popsicle stick stuff. Because that's something that you might actually have around the house. So I have two regular ones here. Now I'm going to cut this one in half, and we're going to place it right here. Now you do want it not right up to the edge, but you want like an inch down. Of course, you can get this ruler or just eyeball it. That's about half. Okay. So, I'm just going to put a little hot glue right there. And, like I said, we are making the bridge. I mean, not the bridge, the body. I'm sorry. The body. All right, so now we're gonna grab our straw, and this is larger than our barbecue stick. So for the front, I want a whole piece. So you can get a ruler if you want, of course, but I'm just gonna eyeball it to see how big it is. Let's do the market, that's easier. I just want it just slightly bigger, not too big. Do is grab that. Put some hot glue right there. Make sure that's leveled and straight so our car doesn't go poo poo. Alright, so now this one, it's going to go right here. Because, but we want 
two little pieces because this is where we're going to put our little um, axle that we can twist the things. So I'm going to just about right there and I'm going to cut this now down and a half. If, now if you wanted to go science or mathematically you can do divide it by thirds. I'm just going to do right there and actually that was a little too big. And it's all about what products are you using, how big you want. So I'm just going to put it right there while it's still hot. I'm going to grab my stick and put it in here so it stays nice and straight. So there's that. So we're going to let that dry. While that's drying, we're going to grab our axle. So our wooden stick and we want just a little wider and go right here I'm just going to gently work on cutting this sometimes the best thing is just to cut around it and then kind of snap it and I want the same length about the same size and I already have a little piece cut already for my little tail. I'm going to take this out so that's going to go right there. Oops I got mixed up. So that one's going to go there and this one's going to go here we're going to put the wheels on and then we want to put our little tail right here. So the thing is you want to make sure that you have enough room to wound that up. So actually I should have done the opposite side there. But we'll just work with what we got. And actually that will work better because I have more of a gap there. Oops. See, that's the fun part about Makerspace. You'll learn how you go as you go and figure out what's going on. And hot glue gun is so easy just to peel off. So I'm just going to rotate everything back over here. So that one's just a little bit wider. That one will work better. wheels however you like. Put this one in first. This one's a little more wiggle room there. And this is a tricky part here. wheels on, or my front wheels, now I'm going to do the front, there we go, stick it on there, and of course whenever you're making yours, you can style yours however you want, um, if you've painted before, just use your imagination. And now I'm going to put my tail and I'm going to have enough room there now. So I'm just going to put that right here. Let that sit up. And then while that's sitting, I'm going to put it right there to balance. I'm going to put the little topper so it will attach to whatever band right there. 
and we're just going to let that sit and dry. So once again, you guys, this is another idea that you guys can make it. And that's just how simple it is. You guys can add more weight to it. If it's kind of wonky, um, and just have fun, like I said. Use your own imagination and make it however you like to. Bye for now.